Let me show you how to build this styled pop-up for this agency website without any fancy tools. Let's break it down. To start, I've added the digital marketing template to give us a good base. Let's select this button, click the link and change it to pop up. We don't have any yet, so I'll create now. And first I'm gonna make this wider and then taller and then change the background to white. And of course set the X to black. Then come into the sidebar here and turn on advanced CSS grid. This is so I can add another column and another row, which will drag to be quite thin. Just go ahead and add some space in the middle and slap some padding on those edges too. With the layout work done, let's add some content. First, let's give this pop-up a title of our services. And then I'm gonna add a container, change the colors and corners like so, and expand it to be the whole cell. Now we can drop in our first image, position it, and make sure the container has overflow set to hidden. Then I'll add in a bit more text at the bottom here and style it up a little bit. Now let's go ahead and make it more interactive. All we need to do is add in another container and and expand it to be the whole cell and set its color to white and transparency to 0%. Importantly, make sure that it is positioned above the image but below the text like so. You'll see why in a second. Finally, let's add in a button and style it like so and set the transparency to about 10%. To animate, just select that container and head into animations and effects tab and create a custom animation. We'll turn on apply glass effect and adjust the intensity and also the duration as well. Then selecting the container, let's also add a new hover interaction, but this time select the button and give it just a fade in animation with the same duration as before. If I go ahead and preview, this is what we've got so far. It's looking really good, but back in the editor, let's duplicate this entire cell over. We'll just swap out this image and reposition it a little. Then selecting the page, we'll turn down the opacity of the overlay to make it a little bit darker. And then the very last thing I wanna do is select the pop-up and select triggers. I'm gonna turn off automatically display so that it only shows up when we click on the button itself. And just like that, we have a fully functional pop-up for a digital marketing website with some engaging hover interactions too. Wanna to see more of these? Check out another tutorial.